Good afternoon, my name is Tim Durham and I'm with the Oconee County Water Resources Department. Today I want to talk about our sewer system maintenance program. One of the ways that we like to protect our sewer infrastructure and be proactive is to do smoke testing. Smoke testing has proved to be one of the most cost effective manners to test for uh, breaks in your pipe, uh, joints that may leak, and different various components that may attribute uh, to I&I, &I, which stands for inflow and infiltration, into our sewer systems, which causes the, the plant treatment cost to go up. So today I've asked Lance and Ryan to come and help me uh, demonstrate very briefly how we plan on doing smoke testing. As you can see, they just placed a blower on top of the manhole. Uh, the way that it works is the blower has a fan. Uh, we will actually inject smoke into the sewer system. The fan, the fan will then blow the smoke through our sewer system and any cracks, pipes, or any broken places, loose joints or anything like that, uh, the smoke would, would come out. We would have a, a visible component that we could see where the breaks are happening. We could GIS and map those points so that we can later go back and make repairs to them. So some of the things that you may see during a smoke test, as smoke makes its way through a pipe that has a break, a crack, or a loose joint, smoke will come out through those breaks in the pipe. Uh, you may see the smoke rise in your yard. Other places that you may see it is through a floor drain. That if a, you have a floor drain that has a connection, um, you may see it come up through a clean out in your sewer line. Uh, other places that you may see is an event, like you see on the top of this building. Uh, and last, you may see smoke come up through a, a storm gutter. If you have any rarely used drains, one thing that you can do to prevent smoke from coming into your house is to run water for maybe 20 to 30 seconds to fill the trap. This will prevent smoke from coming into your house. So one thing to remember is that smoke testing is not harmful to you, pets, plants, or furniture. If you do have respiratory issues or are immobile, please call us at 706-769-3960. It's also worth noting that smoke testing can set off smoke alarms. If that happens, please open your windows to allow the smoke to dissipate. But if you're unsure of the source, please call 911. For further information or frequently asked questions, please check us out at oconeecounty.com slash water. Thank you.